जूनियर वेंग्स हेड मिस सारिका शर्मा आर एकेडमिक कोऑर्डिनेटर मिस पायल बेबी टीचर्स एंड माय डियर फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई चैलेंज यू वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ क्लास फोर्थ इन द प्रेजेंट क्लास असेंबली टॉपिक ऑफ टुडे इज असेंबली इज सेल्फ स्टीम अ डे स्टार्टेड बाय रिमेंबरिंग गॉड इज द बेस्ट स्टार्ट ऑफ द डे आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू जॉइन योर हैंड्स एंड क्लोज योर आईज फॉर द मॉर्निंग प्रेयर Your mental well-being and your overall quality of life. 
However, having self-esteem that is either too high or too low can be problematic. self-confidence, feeling of security, identity, sense of sense of belonging, feeling of competence, other terms of self-esteem, sorry, other terms can be self-esteem include self-esteem self includes self-worth, self-worth, self-regard, self-regard and self-respect. of healthy self-esteem are a firm understanding of one's skills, the ability to maintain healthy relationships with others and with oneself, realistic and appropriate personal expectations, an understanding of one's skills, one's needs and the ability to express those needs. Avoid dwelling on past negative experiences, believe you are equal to everyone else, know better and no worse, express your needs. Feel confident, have a positive outlook on life, say no when you want to, see your overall strengths and weaknesses and accept them. Self-esteem can seriously impact the quality of life. You may believe that others are better than you. You may find expressing your needs difficult. You may focus on your weaknesses. You may frequently experience fear, self-doubt and worry. Just like Hashin and Charlie explained about the effects of low self-esteem, even too, high self-esteem have some effects like may believe they are always may believe they cannot fail, may believe they are better than others, may focus on always being right. I hope it was informative for you all. Now I request Principal Ma'am to say a few words. Good morning everyone. Good morning ma'am. Good morning students. Please sit down. Sit. So welcome back from your winter vacations. Are you happy to be back to school? Yes, ma'am. Yes, we've almost had four days yes, of school. So I hope all of you had a very wonderful, safe and enjoyable winter vacation. Yes, ma'am. And ready to start their work. Yes, before we finish and move to the next class. Yes, very good. So, very soon, by March, we'll be finishing this session. So, we are in Jan already. 15th, half the month is gone. So, today is the 19th? Yes, yes. Is today the 19th of Jan? Yes, ma'am. Yes, and by around, uh, in another month, you'll be giving your final exams. Yes. So, of course, we have to gear up and get back to studies, but... Of course, assemblies are so important. And why is this assembly important? Because it's talking about our self-esteem. Esteem is how we think about something and self is us. So it's about ourselves. What we think about ourselves. How we feel about ourselves. So it's very important to have what they like they said. Don't have a very high self-esteem which means I'm thinking I'm better than what I am. I don't have a very low self-esteem wherein I'm not giving credit to myself. I'm better than what I think I am. So both are not very good. We should have a balanced, balanced self-esteem. So the real self-esteem. That will help us do better in life. Whether in academics or otherwise. We should have a healthy and it's called a healthy self-esteem which is more accurate to our accomplishments. Right? We all have some flaws, we all have some weaknesses. Is there anyone here who has no weakness? Yes. Who is that? <laughs> so we all have some weakness, something that we can't do 
or we don't want to do or we are not good at. Everybody has that. And there are so many things that we are good at. So we should understand what we are good at and ensure that we do more of that. And wherever we feel, oh, but I don't know this, we should try to learn. Alright? And that will build your self-esteem. The way we look at ourselves. It's like putting a mirror. You saw that image? Yes. There was a mirror. Yes. And in the mirror, the person was doing this. And outside, the person was right. So that's what we think about ourselves. Right? So the mirror image of ourselves should be positive, should be good. And like in the final, they were saying, we should love ourselves. We should love others and we should also love ourselves. We should respect ourselves just like we need to respect others. Okay, so all of this is part of our value system. These are called values. Right? And they are very important for us to be good human beings. So thank you Pooja ma'am and class 4D for such a wonderful assembly. Let's give them a big round of applause. It's always wonderful to have children remind us. So I was sitting there and I also started thinking, yes, I need to work. I should be balanced. Right? So we should always have a very positive image about ourselves and work on keeping it positive and being positive. Alright? So thank you children. It was wonderful to be part of this assembly and it has given such a positive start to our day. Right? So we'll all have a very positive day with a good self-image. And we'll go back home. Every one of you will go back home and tell your parents about this assembly and what you learned, this value. Will you do that? Yes. You can even go and ask your parents, Mama, what is your, you know, self-esteem? How do you feel? And then tell them how they can improve it. You must help your parents also, right? They will be so proud of you if you do that. So all of you promise you will do that? Yes. Go and talk about self-esteem this afternoon with your parents. Alright? Yes. Thank you children. The trophies, we have a few. Uh, Guntas Panu, a star performer, has won first prize in group dance competition and second prize in solo dance competition held at Prachi Kalaki in the sector 71. I think we should give her a big round of applause. One trophy is for the group dance performance and the second one is for the solo dance performance. Both were held at Prachi Kalaki Thank you, ma'am.